Hi guys, Marika here with a Copic coloring tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to color eyes with Copic markers and it's going to be one technique but a whole bunch of different eyes and uh, I was asked to do this by Chain. Uh, she wanted to see uh, how do I really color my eyes. So I printed out all these eyes. These are close-ups of characters from Make It Crafty and I'll link down below to all of these uh, characters. And I'm going to show you how I kind of have different ways you can color eyes, how I color eyes and a little bit of those. All of this video is in real time. So it's a 12 minutes video, but you get a whole bunch of eyes for it. The first little character I'm going to color, the thing with her is that she has really, really big reflections in her eyes. And also she don't have a delimiter around her eyes so I start out with a skin color to kind of map out the eye whites and you can do this in any shape you want to this is where you can let your artistic flair be shown and you can make the eyes round or more almond shape that I do I kind of like to have a very bend high bend on the upper side and almost a straight line on the lower lid which is very manga-ish. Then I'm using the lightest color to kind of color in the um, iris because it doesn't have that much of an iris due to the big reflections. So then I'm shading my little eye whites with the B623 Zoe, the owner of Make It Crafty, uh, was the person who taught me the B63 tri trick. It's an awesome color to uh, color. And I do a cast shadow underneath the eyelashes and then just a little bit of shading on the bottom of the eyeball just to get a little bit of a roundness. Now with this eye having very little bit of an iris and a lot of reflection, I just work in small, small U shapes. Uh, where the U shapes go towards the upper lashes. I always use lighter color at the bottom and darker color at the top because you have the natural shadows from the lashes. Then I go in with, uh, in this case, actually five colors. For these small eyes, you only maybe need three, but I'm using the same colors for all the eyes and that's why I kind of chose to continue using all of them also for these small eyes. So the next uh, eyes have smaller reflections, I still have the delimiter. Uh, again, going in and doing a little bit of skin coloring, uh, no shading, just doing the shapes of the eyes. Um, if I would do this on a real character, I would start by going in with the lightest color to do this shape, but I also would do all of the shading of the skin. Uh, while I was at it and then go in with the eyes but it's all about the eyes today so uh, not so much more of that then I'm going to do the shading I'm shading also on top of the reflection when it comes to the cast shadow from the uh, eyelashes uh, and if you actually look at an eye image you will see that you will have a cast shadow on your reflections in the eyes and because of the iris being pretty big here, I don't have to map it out. So I just start with the darker color. I'm lining both the pupil and the iris uh, just around with the darkest color. And if you go in and look on your own eyes or your Google eyes, you will see that a lot of eyes do have a very dark circle as the delimiter of your iris and also you will have kind of a darker ring around your pupil so i'm kind of trying to mimic this and then when i go in with my lighter colors i add more color up where the shadow would be under the lashes and then i just carefully line the rest of it so that the upper part of the eye towards the lashes have more of the darker colors while the lower part is going to have a lot more light in it and be lighter because it will not have that natural shadow from the eyelashes so that is the that is the whole idea behind 
the technique. That is how I think every time I color an eye. Now we're going to color two different eyes. First, we are doing our left eye here. We're going in, or actually I'm going to go in with the shadows, uh, eye, eye white shadows on both of the eyes. These are already delimited, so I don't need to do the skin color first. And I do try to give it a little bit of a roundness uh, and the cast shadow from the eyelashes. You can actually go in and do the whole cast shadow, um, even if you're gonna shade it with another color, you can do it all under the lashes with the B63, which is a very simple color to use. For here, I'm doing the lining again, and this is the base of all the eyes I do. I will line them all in more or less, because uh, if you have very thin irises, then you want to have very very thin darker lines and thicker you also always want to have like a thicker light part than you have a dark part because that will give you a more open eye and give it also give it a little bit lighter eye here is the these characters actually come both with black and not colored uh, eyes and I kind of showed you that you can either pick the white dots that they look there or you can do your own. So this first eye I'm actually doing a horizontal uh, re reflection uh, and on top of that I'm actually gonna have the lashes kind of reflect a little bit into that reflection so I'm adding small uh, pointy things that looks like eyelashes in my reflection. And I thought it was a little bit too light, so I'm adding the T4 on top of it. And then I wanted to have a little bit of a darker uh, pupil, so I'm going in with the 110 black. And now for some detailing. I waited with the detailing until I did the pupil, because then the, the iris would dry. If you want to have very sharp details on an image you already blended, you want it to dry. If you do the details on the eye when it's wet, it will blend into the rest of the ink and they will the details will get a little bit more fussy. So I choose to do them after it has dried so that I can get a little bit more sharper details. But I am going to go over all of the details with my B93 and my B91 just to soften, soften them up a little bit. So for the second eye I'm actually going to do a simple coloring of the iris just doing the lining like I like to do um, and don't ne really need to line too much on the pupil but more but line more on the iris edge um, Again, trying to keep the darker parts where it's shadow and the lighter parts where it would be lighter on the uh, lower part of the iris. Now for the pupil. Today I'm going to do a kind of a manga-ish pupil because I'm going in and coloring the pupil in the same color as I did the iris. So I'm using the same colors. Uh, I'm keeping a cast shadow underneath the um, lashes but otherwise I'm trying just to keep the light in the middle of the pupil and to give it a little bit more light I'm gonna use my white gel pen to color in the same kind of white dots that you got into the black pupils so basically just a little bit of shine. Now for the two last eyes which is all about the pupils and also a little bit about uh, coloring eyes that is a little bit on an angle because this eyes is a little bit on an angle which means that first the blue shadow uh, is laid a little bit differently you still have the cast shadow underneath your eyelashes but uh, you try to kind of make the eyeball look a little bit more rounded when it comes to aligning the the pupil uh, I'm being a little bit more careful and don't do it all the way around. Uh, I'm just doing it, giving it a little bit um, less just in the lower left corner because the pupil would kind of not have a shadow there, 
sort of. You won't see the shadow as much. Um, and then just using the lighter colors. For the pupil this time, I'm going to do the same effect of the last eye, but with the black color. So you can use our black and grays. So you, can, you don't have to make it the same color as the iris. You can use a black color and still get a little bit more dimension in the eye by adding um, grays in, in a gradient. And to finish it off, I'm using my white gel pen for the reflections. This also means that I don't have to color around the reflections. I can just fill them in with the white gel pen. And for the last eye, um, again, going in carefully lining the eye, uh, but not lining the bottom part of the pupil this time that much because then you can get it again get another sort of dimension in the eye you should play around see what you like and for the pupil i'm going to do the blue gradient pupil uh, where i kind of follow the shape of the pupil but also have that upper cast shadow from the lashes and now i want her eyes to twinkle so instead of making a round reflection, I am doing a little star-shaped reflection and it looks like her eyes is twinkling. So you can do a lot of different kind of eyes and different kinds of um, sparkle in the eyes to make them look kind of cool. And those were all of the eyes for today, all the ways you can do the same technique but with different pupils and such. Um, it's a very simple technique to color the eyes, but thank you so much for watching. If you like this tutorials, please thumbs it up and comment in the comment section. You can also hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. And here are two videos where I actually have drawn the eyes and then colored them. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!